My name's Alan Hart, and today I bought a new Worcester Bosch 2000 combi boiler. So to make it clear, I bought this boiler with my own money so that I can do reviews on this boiler. In today's video, I'm gonna unbox it and I'm gonna just put it up on this wall here and we can have we can have a look at it. Yeah, so first of all, let's let's open the box, see what's inside. If you've got any questions at all about this boiler, if you add them in the comments below, and then what I'll do is on the next video, I'll try and answer any questions that I can. So let's have a look what's inside. So if we open the box, the first thing we see is the instructions. So that's the Worcester, the Worcester, 2000 instructions we've got the ERP label we've got a wall bracket that looks quite nice then we've got a template so we'll put that on wall shortly and then we've got some some plastic trim thing. I'm not sure what they're for, but I suppose we'll find out. Some fixing screws and some nuts and olives. And that's all you get in the top part of it. You get another box. Just have a look what's in that one. This is the very first time I've opened this, so um, there might be a better way to do this, but. Quite heavy, I don't know what's in there. Oh, that's the valves. The valves, they look a bit, they look a bit funny. Oh, that'll be for, that'll be for filling loop. Doesn't seem to be a filling loop in this so far. Got the comfort control in box as well. Some instructions, some batteries. Comfort key, RF key, I'm not sure what that's for yet. We'll have to have a look. Maybe that just plugs in on the boiler. And then there's a little packet with screws in. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put I'm going to put the bracket up on wall here, and then I'm going to lift the boiler out of the box, and then I'm going to put the, the boiler on the wall up here. I just want to show you this. I like this when manufacturers actually think about um, the box and getting the boiler out of the box. Once you've took your all your stuff out of the top, the box is just stuck. You're supposed to take them bits of cardboard out first it does actually show that on box to take the cardboard out first um, but I just wanted to show you that because it makes it makes it nice and easy to get to the boiler without trying to lift it out lift the boiler out of a box it comes with a nice template so it shows you um, where the uh, pipes go below there also it shows you the flow centers, there's a few different ones there. We'll have to see which one is which. So we've got the boiler there, and I'm just gonna lift it up onto the wall now.
That was very nice for lifting on. It's um, I really do like that bracket. Very very nice bracket. If we just look at the front case on this, it's actually damaged already, scraped off. And there's no that's been done. I've not I've not got out sharp on me or out that do that. So that's come like that, damaged. First glance, the pipe work underneath there. Looks like most of the pipes are gonna be up above the eye level. Maybe dangle down a little bit. Which might be a bit of an eyesore, I suppose. What do we think to look of it? Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, I suppose. I think it don't, I don't think it looks too bad, to be honest. I'd be a bit concerned about covers like this, if it can get damaged so easy like that. I mean, that's always, you know, this could just be a one off, but, but it don't look too bad. That's the unboxing video of the Worcester Bosch 2000 series. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to do some reviews on this boiler and in later videos I'm going to pipe it up, we'll get it working and we'll test out functions on it and we'll, we'll do a long term review and see what we think to it. What do I think to it so far? Well, the box part of it, lifting out of the box etc, all very nice, packaged really really well. The only downside I'd say is this little scratch here. But that could happen to any boiler. It's just a shame that it's happened on my first boiler. Um, but I don't know what I don't actually know what to do with that. I'll probably get a little bit of radiator paint and just um touch that up if I had to. But yeah, bit of a shame really. But yeah, so click if you click up here somewhere and subscribe. And if you've got any questions, um if you ask them below and I'll try and add them into my next next video. Thank you for watching.